I'm Mary. I'm a sophomore at Beach Island. Send my best friend! And this is my poem, Ladybugs Are Better Than Humans. The ladybug is speckled with charcoal freckles, not perfectly circular, but ellipses, where x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared equals one. But the ladybug never went to school, so she doesn't know this. And she's not even human, so she doesn't know what gender is. Maybe she is really he, but for now, she will be she. Imagine the ladybug just turned 18, that is to say she is an adult. She's not actually 18 human years. In her ladybug life, she will live at most 365 more days, which doesn't seem like a very long time to live, but she is not a human. She is a ladybug, so she is not afraid of dying. She knows that she will feed the plants that feed her, and that is a good enough reason to be at peace with dying someday. She doesn't count daylight savings because she is a ladybug and the sun tells her when to rise and when to set. She certainly never sets an alarm because she doesn't own a clock, much less a cell phone, and time is a human construct of relativity. She, of course, is not a human. She doesn't have to pay rent to live in the trees and all her food she gets for free. She can sleep in every day and she is happy not to have responsibility because she has the ability to be free and to be what she wants to be without worrying if she will make enough money. There is no lettered grade to tell her how good she is for a scale from A to F cannot capture creativity. No one critiques her art and makes her feel small because she knows that size is relative. All her friends are small too and they like being small. After all, humans, ladybugs are small in the hand of a human, but humans are even smaller on the face of the earth. Just because she is small does not mean she is unimportant. She is important because she is a part of the grand scheme of things. She creates her own butterfly effect, which she dubs the ladybug effect, and if her life changes, truth itself will be rewritten. She is not a believer in Greco-Roman humanism, so she does not feel that she must be successful to be worth her space. My friend drew me a ladybug in history, and I thought that that bug was pretty. I never considered if I was better than her because I wouldn't know how to start comparing myself to a ladybug. But if I did, I would probably assume that I was better than her because I'm a human and she is a ladybug. But she can high she can fly higher than I can jump even though she is smaller than me and she is a ladybug unapologetically. Maybe she is better than me because she is a ladybug and I am a human.